In this session, we will learn how to create an ID in Google Cloud Platform so that we can incorporate Google login option in our application. So just look for this Google Cloud Platform uh, link, search for Google Cloud Console. So you get this, these links and just go to this Google Cloud, uh, Google Cloud Platform and click on that. Okay, and then you have to use your Google account to log in. Right, so once you log in into this account, okay, once you log in into this account, you will you should see the options like this: uh, quick access. Okay, um, where you have to click on APIs and services. You should see this option somewhere. All right and once you click on this apis and services you will be getting this screen and then go to um, oauth consent screen okay and then uh, create an app over here so you'll be getting a create so i have already created Okay, you should see here some app information, app name, provide some app name, provide the email ID that you have used you know, earlier to log in. And then down, uh, pretty much give this same in developers contact information, contact information also provide the same email ID, right? And that means in this page, you have given the app name, user, user support email, and then developer contact email and click on save and continue here no need to do anything just save and continue in this test user we will have to add a user okay and only this user will be able to log into google at this time just click on this add user and provide an email id which we will be using to log in so for time being just give the same email id uh, that we had created uh, or that we had given earlier all right so once you give this, click on add and then below you would see that email ID that has been added. So here you will get the information, whatever you have entered, the app name and email ID and things like that. All right. So once you have done this, now click on this credentials on the left. In the credentials, click on this create credential. And in this create credential, click on OAuth client ID. Okay, click on OAuth client ID and then uh, in the drop down select web application because we are going to incorporate this into our React application. So select web application and then give some application names coming web client 2 and then um, in this place in authorized JavaScript origin in this place add the um, URL of React.js which is localhost colon 3000 okay. so http localhost colon 3000 you add that and then below in this authorized redirect url also add the same thing http uh, localhost colon 3000 okay that means we are giving uh, we are giving access to this url you know so that if you are opening any application through this url we will have access to google login you know um, component all right so after giving this urls click on create so here once you click on create you will be getting client id and client secret just copy this client id and client secret and paste in a notepad and save it for future reference all right, so this client ID we need to invoke Google login. All right, okay, so once you are done, we are all set. So here the client ID, the name will be appearing, which you can always click and review. So we are all set uh, with creating the client ID. Okay, so let me sign out from here. 
and then uh, we will open visual studio and create an application uh, to incorporate this google login right. now to implement google login uh, button into our page we will have to uh, do few things and first thing is we will have to install the google uh, react google login okay so open cmd and go to this command line and then type uh, this command to install npm install react google login okay so this is what you need to uh, provide so that react google login component uh, is installed into your react js library okay so once you have given this command and once the installation is completed then go ahead and create a, a new app so i have created an app called app5.js and which is what i am calling in my index.js i'm calling app5 here in index.js now in app5 first thing is you need to import uh, react use state and then this is the, something that we need to import from react google login and that is why we had installed that particular library so google login google log, log out these two things we need to import and then here is the client id which we have to give that we have just created using google uh, cloud console okay so please paste that client id over here and give the variable name as client id and then in this app that we had created just create two use state variables flag and name okay by default flag is going to be false and there will be nothing in this name field and then let's go down first in the return statement this is the login tag that we have to use component that we have to use to display the login button so google login is a tab uh, tag and along with that in this client id mention the client id that we have saved in this variable right just mention that variable over here so client id has been mentioned and then on success if we are able to successfully log in then it will invoke on success function if we have failed then it will invoke on failure uh, function and the button text whatever you want to give in that on the button i've just given login you can also give something like sign in with login or something like that sign in with google right the button name and then you have to just give the cookie policy that comes along with the tag single host origin and then is signed in false i've given that means this is a default parameter that means after you sign in uh, it will not be staying there if you log out it will come out of it all right so that's the function now let's see if we call on success it will call on success function and what we are doing in on success function is this res is what we will get after we have successfully logged in and from res we can uh, use a profile object you know um, um, you know key to access all the values like name email id everything so here i am accessing name by giving res dot profile obj and then what i am doing i am printing success in the console and then <coughs> and then i am updating the flag to true so initially this flag was false now the flag has become true okay now when it comes down see it will check flag if flag is true it is going to print hello and that name whoever has logged in if this flag is false it is going to show this login once more time right that is a logic i will done in this page so initially this flag is see the flag is false right that is why when it comes and checks here flag okay if flag is false then it will go to this and show the login page or the login button if the flag is true it will print hello and that name so first time because it is false we will get the login button second time if you have successfully logged in then it will set the flag to true because flag is true this time it is going to print hello name so that's all uh, now coding we have to perform to achieve uh, this login option
So let's see the browser what we get. Okay. Uh, all right. So this is a page, right? I get signed in with login button, sign in with Google button. I'm getting this because here I've given this particular tag. Now, if I click on this button, it will ask me to log in into Google account. And this email ID should be the same email ID that we have given while creating the uh, client ID, right? We have given a test user, right? So you have to log in using this test user only for now. And I'm giving that test user login in. And now once I log in, uh, it should print my name. See, hello, Praveen. That means I have successfully logged in, right? So this is how it works. Now you can manipulate, you can further perform the coding and you can now access all the other pages, relevant pages of your project, right? Once you get this success message, now it's up to you how to design your application. So till here, uh, we have seen how to create a client ID by going to Google Cloud Console. And then we have created this button, which is Google login button, and then created a login button. And once you click on that login button, it is pulling our name and displaying it over here. All right, so that's pretty much on uh, how to plug in Google authentication into our application. Please go through and let me know in case of any questions in the next class. Thank you.